Today we're getting ready to check out Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral in a completely different way. Let's go meet the guys that run Sail Cocoa Beach. Today I'm here with Richie and Josh at Sail Cocoa Beach. Guys, thank you so much for having me out. It's a gorgeous day here on the water. Tell me a little bit about what, what is Sail Cocoa Beach? The way that it started was uh, two Midwest boys that just love the water and you know we've been in the hospitality and tourism industry for you know, the past decade, maybe two, because we're aging ourselves. Um, and we recently transplanted here and we realized that there wasn't any opportunity for people to actually get out into the ocean. It was mainly focused on the river and lagoon mm -hmm. and everything. So we wanted to capitalize on that and actually show everybody how pretty Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral is from the water. You know, get a different vantage point in the same city that you've probably been in or you're new to. Tell me a little bit about the tours. What kind of, are they packages? Is it for groups? Is it for an individual? How does that work? Well, currently we actually, we, we offer three different packages as well as custom tour options and rocket launch options and things of that such. But we try to, uh, we have three different tours. The first one is a, uh, is a port tour. It basically goes through the history, uh, SpaceX information, local, you know, conversation, things of that such, and being able to, uh, basically show guests what is it here, what they can see, what they need to know of the local area. Then we also have a sunset cruise, which is obviously, you know, watching the sunset from the water is always amazing. Then we have a midday cruise. It's actually our longest. It's two and a half hours. Basically gets us through the same, the same port uh, information and then all the way out to uh, the ocean again, catching the wind and trying to fill the sails. So oh, for anyone who has any questions about safety, they're a little worried about going out in the ocean, out in the water, what kind of safety protocols do you guys follow on the boat? Well, uh, because of COVID, originally we were going to do public tours, but we closed it down to private. So this way, the group of six actually all know each other. You, you guys know where you've been. We know where we've been. We highly disinfect and clean everything here, as well as try to maintain six feet distance, as well as we have all the actual Coast Guard regulations and we do drills regularly and everything. You guys you do you offer snack packages or food and beverage with the tours or do we bring that? How does that work? Well, we, we do offer basic uh, snacks and soda and refreshments, but it is a BYOB. You guys are more than welcome to bring your your own uh, beverages, which a lot of our guests actually do, especially on the sunset ones. Uh, we just ask for no glass because as you can see, we are moving. There is a high possibility yeah. of things breaking. So we want to make certain that everybody's safety is our first priority. Okay. People want to get in touch with you, find out pricing, you know, book a tour. How do they do that? How do they see what you guys are up to? What's the best way to communicate? Uh, sailcocobeach.com, all the social media. Yeah. yeah, we have a huge floating billboard. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.